on the bench, we're going to tie you up the black and maroon micro leech. Now, as the name says, micro means small, so make sure this pattern is quite small. It is tied on a size 16 swimming nymph hook, very important ingredient for this pattern. Make sure you have these ingredients ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size 16 swimming nymph hook, some 8 aught black thread to tie with, some black marabou for the tail with red crystal flash as a highlight, a 7 64th inch silver bead for the bead, some black marabou for the body, and some red copper wire for the rib. The first step in the fly is to tie in your black thread and make sure you have a good layer laid down on the hook. Next step in the fly is to take about five or six marabou strands. Now you want to keep the tail fairly thin because this is a micro leech, keep it small. So we're going to tie it in for the tail and make it about the length of the hook. Once the tail is tied in, take one strand of your red crystal flash. Make sure it's only one strand, that's all we want to tie in. And we're actually going to lay it on top of our tail, about the length of the tail, and tie it in. The tail is now fully tied in with our one strand of crystal flash. Take some copper wire and we're going to tie it in along the body and this will be used for our ribbing once we tie in the body. We have the ribbing all ready to go, now we have to tie in the body. What we're going to do is take some black marabou and we're going to pull it off and dub it on and we're going to dub it very thinly. We want this to be a micro leech, very thin. So take your black marabou, dub it onto your thread and then wrap it forward to form a very thin body. Now that the body's wrapped forward, we're going to take our red copper wire that we have sitting off the back and we're going to create about five to six ribs up the fly. To finish the fly off, I'm going to take my whip finisher. I'm actually going to whip finish off the fly near the head and then I'm going to take a dubbing brush and actually use a dubbing brush to pick out the body. Actually it's a dubbing pick tool that we use and just pick out the body so it gives it that nice leech shape. Remember when you're about to tie a micro leech there's some important things you want to remember. Keep it small, keep it thin and vary the colors. They're great little patterns.